Hello everyone, welcome back to the PC Benchmarks and Gaming channel. In today's video, we're delving into the enhanced features of lossless scaling, now upgraded to version 2.6.0.6. This update introduces the new DXGI Frame Capture API, meticulously crafted to tackle and resolve various performance issues. I'm currently playing Cyberpunk 2077 on my aging PC, achieving a frame rate ranging from 30 to 40 FPS while running it in ultra-quality settings. To enable the lossless scaling software to function optimally, it is essential to configure your game in either borderless windowed mode or standard windowed mode. Notably, the latency is high, evident in the top left corner of the screen where it consistently hovers around 110 milliseconds. This latency is notably elevated even for a single player game, posing a considerable challenge to the overall gaming experience. Let's activate the lossless scaling software and assess the resulting improvements in both frame rate and latency. As a general principle, lower latency translates to more responsive in-game command execution, enhancing the overall gaming experience. To further diminish latency, consider enabling NVIDIA Reflex low latency in the video settings. This straightforward and efficient adjustment promises a notable enhancement in command response. Let's give it a moment and there you have it. I've successfully achieved an additional reduction in latency. Now, I'm about to unleash a bit of chaos in the city to gauge the FPS performance of my aging PC with frame generation activated in ultra quality and ray tracing engaged. This update of lossless scaling introduces the new DXGI Frame Capture API. With it, you can seamlessly integrate lossless scaling into your game's frame rate, effectively doubling the number of frames during frame generation. For an optimal viewing experience, it's still recommended to synchronize the game's frame rate with half of the lossless scaling refresh rate. However, now you have the flexibility to completely decouple the game's frame rate or set it to any value, with lossless scaling actively ensuring accurate frame distribution. It's crucial to emphasize that the lossless scaling FPS counter must be precisely double the game's frame rate to confirm proper functionality. In scenarios where the game is locked at a frame rate exceeding half the monitor's refresh rate, lossless scaling will persist in rendering twice as many frames discarding the excess before displaying them on the monitor. While this approach is feasible, it's not the recommended choice for optimal performance. If you're grappling with low FPS in your games and are on the lookout for a potential solution, consider testing out this software to see if it aligns with your requirements. I trust you found the video informative and helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do so to stay tuned for upcoming videos designed to enhance your PC gaming experience.